Mr. Chantor's 96 News Review, this time Ben 10, Alien Force, Water Hazard, and Ultimate Humminger, uh, I, I don't really know how to say his name, so very sorry. So anyway, so I do not collect Ben 10. I used to as a little kid when I used to watch the regular show, um, but as soon as they went into uh, Alien Force, I totally stopped watching it because I thought it was really stupid and uh, they were kind of ruining the, the good show. So yeah, so I did used to collect Ben 10 toys. So far I have sold every one one of my Ben 10 toys, except for one figure, one Ghost Freak, the three and quarter inch figure. I really liked him and I liked the toy, so I'm, I'm not going to sell him. Um, I might do a review if you guys want me to, so tell me in the comments if you want me to do a review of him. But anyway, so here are these two guys. These guys are currently at McDonald's. I'm not sure when I'm posting this, uh, because I have no plans on getting this review out soon, but uh, eventually it should be posted. And um, yeah, so, uh, so I'm going to call him Green, I'll call him Water Hazard. Um, so... Yeah, so he is number two, and he's number six of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's how the numbering goes. Um, but yeah, but I got these mostly for the uniqueness of the figures. Um, this new thing, I don't think it's as good as what they usually do, but it's it's very interesting. They they give them a a colored plastic that really has nothing to do with their um, them in the in the uh, in the show. They just give him them like random colors, make it see through, and then put a picture of some type of character inside of them. Very interesting concept. Uh, is the concept uh, better than the other things? No, it's one of those concepts that it's it's cool to think about and maybe to make like one prototype, but then you go, nah, that's cool, but I'm going to make them regular. So yeah, so it's definitely not worth them um, making a whole production of McDonald's toys based on this uh, uh, style. But it's a cool style, but it's a style that you just, you think about, you see one, you get a prototype, and then it's like, oh, that's cool, never mind, I'm not going to do that. Um, so yeah, so I would have much rather had these guys actually painted real, like what they are in the show, um, because they're they're very cool sculpts. Um, I don't know anything about their characters, but their sculpts are cool. I really like this guy's sculpt. Uh, it's kind of nice. He's kind of got, uh, he's got the alien Ben 10 kind of symbol in his chest. He has Ben 10 in his chest. Uh, that's who is the picture in there. So yeah, that's cool. He's, uh, he's got a cool face. It's very cool alien. One hand open, one hand closed. In a nice stance, a nice pose. He's got swivel shoulders and that's it for their articulation. I like the colored eyes though. They gave him colored eyes. That's nice. As for this guy, this guy's much better. He is uh, the big one. Uh, yeah, the very big tough guy. Um, his arms are just big and hulking. The arms are a different see-through than his body, which is weird, which is not the same for this guy, so that's kind of weird. He's in a nice stance and everything, um, but his arms are totally hollow. I really was disappointed in that, but uh, but other than that, like, it looks fine, but once you pick him up and see the hollow arms, it's just, oh, uh, you know, it's, uh, they kind of, they molded in the tail on his back, so that's kind of neat. A uh, nice stance with the legs, and he does have a picture of himself, uh, so yeah, so I wish they just gave him the regular color. This head sculpt is absolutely fantastic, though. Really loving that. Um, he's got swivel shoulders and a swivel neck, um, but it just allows him to do that. But uh, but yeah, so these toys are interesting. They're really cool to take a look at. Go to your store, or I mean, go to your computer, Google image these guys, because they are neat. They're a neat concept, uh, but they're definitely not worth the pickup, unless you're a hardcore Ben 10 fan, and you just need all the Ben 10 toys, no matter if they are uh, show accurate uh, as far as paint or anything. So, so they're decent. Uh, so, this guy's so much better than this guy, so I definitely recommend the green. I'm, I assume that he's, like, one of the best in the in the whole McDonald's series, but, uh, but yeah. So, there you go. That's my little review. Um, yeah, it went well for longer than I thought. I, I expected this to be very short. But there you go. So that's just my review of Water Hazard and Green Guy. His name will be up on the uh, title. They both will. So there you go. Thanks for watching.